Hi, it's Dwyer. It is Thursday, September 9th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. The NFL season kicks off tonight. Let's talk about it. I believe it's going to be one of your best betting opportunities for the entire year. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just say, in the NFL, you're going to have several better teams lose to lesser teams during the year. On any given Sunday, because this is a sport that involves turnovers that can negate a team's advantage, any underdog can win any particular game. If the play unfolds a certain way. I don't see that happening here. I believe this is one of those unique opportunities where a lot is going to have to go wrong for the Dallas Cowboys to even have a chance in tonight's game. The bet I'm recommending here is a simple money line play. Take the defending Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers simply to win. Let's talk about why. First, Dak Prescott. You know, Dak had arm problems in the preseason. They had to pull him out, sit him down. He had to rest. We were hearing that his arm was a little tired, right? And this was in August, folks. Now understand, it's crucial that fans realize that Dak Prescott, whatever reputation he has, did not play last year. This is a guy shaking off rust. I believe at the quarterback position tonight, Tom Brady, who's been active, who is the reigning Super Bowl winner. I believe Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have a decided advantage at the quarterback position. You have Dak, Rusty, his arm not in midseason form. Right? I think that bodes badly for the Dallas Cowboys. Next, the Cowboys are missing a starting offensive lineman. Folks, the problems keep multiplying for the Cowboys. Understand, Tampa Bay has one of the best defenses in the National Football League. Tampa Bay generates a lot of pressure up front. Right? Without this offensive lineman, you can imagine the Dallas run game is not going to be a plus. Also, let's face it. The Cowboy defense is bad. Tampa Bay, one of the best defenses in the league, has a vastly superior defense. Also, you really can't compare last year fully to what's happening now because this year Tom Brady knows his teammates. He doesn't have to figure out who Mike Evans is. Right? He's thrown to these guys. This year Leonard Fournette knows his teammates. Finally, the game is in Tampa Bay. It's nationally televised, folks. Tom Brady playing at home in nationally televised games is one of the most successful players in the National Football League. So I know it's early. <clears throat> I understand gamblers are just getting back in the saddle. I know a lot of you are beating yourself up over whether or not you want to lay more than seven points in this game. Just understand that this game, simply put, is a mismatch especially now, right? Dak Prescott is just getting his legs back under him. Understand, too, Dak Prescott had a devastating injury la um, early last year, 
and Dak Prescott is recovering from surgery. I know physically he might be 100%, but there's a mental component. And this is a guy who hardly played in the preseason, and he's in against a team with a pass rush. So, I believe this is one of your bigger betting opportunities of the year. You're not going to have this level of a mismatch on national television this often. Featuring, of course, one of the league's most overrated teams in the Dallas Cowboys. Folks, the reputation isn't matched by the facts over the last 10 years. Right? The Cowboys did not make the playoffs last year. Right? The Cowboys haven't had anything remotely close to a doomsday defense for a long time. There's still an open question on whether Mike McCarthy, their coach, can be successful in Dallas. I believe Dallas has one of the bigger reputations because of guys who have retired and are in the Hall of Fame. Right? I don't think it's because of this current team. Let me also say, too, even at the running back position, a few years ago, it would be clear that Zeke Elliott is an elite runner. It's not clear now in this game, with Ronald Jones and Leonard Fournette, whether the Cowboys even have the advantage at the running back position. Let's face it, too. Dak Prescott is a gifted passer. He is highly compensated this year, right? He's making something like $40 million a year. How much playing time has he had with C.D. Lamb? Right? The Cowboys have some players who barely know Dak Prescott. I like Tampa Bay big over the Dallas Cowboys. Because it's early in the season and because I'm hesitant to take favorites, laying more than seven points, I'm just going to proceed cautiously on the money line. But I believe this is one of those games that you want to consider backing up the truck for. I like Tampa Bay over Dallas. I don't think it's close. Quite frankly, I have questions on whether Dallas beats out the Redskins for the NFC East. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.